Oh, so stylish. Do that again. Oh, so stylish. <laughs> <laughs> So Andrew, this we, is Andrew. We, we've converted, you've probably seen him before, that Couple face, times. once He's or twice. That, that big Jeep over yeah, there. Yeah, he, he broke that on the... Uh, At the birthday uh, trip. Yeah, birthday trip. So, but we've converted back. another one. He tried to lie to us and say that he had no money, and then he just showed up today with this. I don't know. <laughs> it's so weird. This guy. Is this brand new? Brand new, it's got. Brand new, it's got how many miles how many? on it? How just loaded clicks? it on the trailer. It's even got the little tags. Oh, 19.2 because I did a lap around here. It's got the tags still. This puppy's brand spank wow. in 2023 or 2022? 2023. 23. I like Maverick the colors X on it. RC or Sport XRC. Sport Maverick Sport XRC. Tra Maverick Trail? Oh, yeah. Maverick no, Sport. <laughs> Trail's the other I'm one. I'm never going to get this right. There's, two <laughs> There's too many words. <laughs> but yes, we've converted another one. So now we have two Can-Ams. Which is Just pretty sweet. One. Just a little one. But I so think it'll do the tell job. Us, tell us the things that drew you to this of all the different ones on there. Because a lot of people don't have one of these. So what are some things that are really good about it? So the main attraction was the Jeep is wide as hell. Yeah. 92 <laughs> inches wide on 42s. I hit everything. It weighs like <laughs> 6,700 pounds. We go yeah. out with the side by sides. I'm clear cutting the sides of the trails for everyone. It gets comically bad sometimes yep. so i want something that was much more narrow so this was a 64 inch wide so i can fit between things i'm not hitting trees i'm not losing my mirrors i'm not losing body armor off the jeep like and last you're, year you're kind of like a sweet spot like you're not wide yeah. like the it's x3 not a, like, old, like 72 wide but you're not super narrow like a 60 or like a even small now like an at yeah so it's kind of like the cowie but a little bit skinnier yeah so it's kind of like a, the cowie's what 68 68 yeah. yeah okay so it's a bit of a hybrid so i can fit places i'm not smashing off shit all the time and damaging yep. parts there Language, Andrew. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Depends on how far into the YouTube video you put that. Beep. <laughs> but this one came, bumpers, whole doors, which is really nice with the sport or the trails. And I think the trails the same. The trail and the sport all have like, actual door handles. Yes. So the other Canyon Mavericks, it's the rope that you have to pull in there. Suicide. Yeah, tug on your rope. You, yeah. <laughs> you get actual you full enclosed doors. <laughs> the X3 is kind of a weird half. Door hybrid, I and then you have to buy so this even the bottoms, yes, don't you? Have to you? Buy all the, yeah. That's silly. So it's even got seals, like a rubber seal. Yeah, it's like weather stripping. Yeah, that's nice. That's quite nice. Yeah. I get like the point of like, if you're in a much warmer climate or a sandy climate, it makes more sense. But up here we have so much mud, so much dirt. We're just running trails, it's, man. It just gets yeah. so sloppy. Bush you want fashion, yeah. kind yeah. of some enclosure. Yeah. The, we do have a bunch of rock, like the Canadian yeah. Shield. So yeah. up north, uh, northern Ontario, we do a lot of granite, like slab rock, and there's some mud at the bottom of the climbs, and then smooth rock. So the rock crawling does make sense. Like you don't need the the mud model that they make with the snorkels and the paddle tires because we're not sitting in mud all no, day. It's a not like that. it's a mixed train, yeah. That is a purpose built <laughs> <Yeah>. machine. <laughs> but, okay. And how big are the uh, the tires on this? I think they're a little thirty inches. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, thirty inch eight ply though, so they're pretty tough. But Damn. these aren't a beadlock, so you don't no. get a beadlock with this like that the Cowie. That is kind of no. silly on a rock crawling edition. You'd think it'd come with a beadlock, but the gunmetal gray with metallics, nice. The no. flake. They are air. They're aired up by the dealer. They're still pretty low. You get some give on it, so a little bit. We're yeah. used to airing down to like two psi. I think the sticker that we tore off on the back said twenty, and the lowest you should put it to is fourteen. And they are a Maxis. Like, oh, I, yeah. I love Maxis tires from the racing scene and everything. I would not be afraid to run these tires. I'm pretty confident they're not going to work good in the muck at all. They're going to fill up and be smooth. But <laughs> on regular trail... <laughs> all rock, the birthday hats for Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But on the rock and on the regular trail, they're soft. Like, look at how much I can flex the uh, tread on it. That's yeah. a soft tire. So yep. they're going to they're gonna work now. good. We've got Maxis on both of the rigs now. Yeah, oh, Maxis, yeah. like Maxis is a top contender in my opinion. For on sure, all, yeah. all vehicles, they're good tires. And it's got, what are these shocks? we got Fox. Fox shocks, Fox they're just QS3s. Mm -hmm. so you can see on the back, but the, they're they only a three, might not be able to see up a in three there. position clicker. And they're a 5 8 shaft up front and they're a 7 8 shaft in the back. So the back has a bigger resi and it's a two and a half inch shocked body. Yeah. I think this is silly. The exhaust pointing right at your shock. It's like so close. So, so. yeah. Like literally when it fires up, you can see the water yeah. beating off of it from the exhaust. Gonna have to do some shock rebuilds here. One of the, yeah, we need to tune. I went for a drive you know with him guy? just up the driveway and it was rough. Yeah. Um, even on stiff. one. It's, <laughs> sti it's stiff on, like if this is, this is on one, that's as soft as, 
it, <laughs> like, it doesn't even move. And then this is <sighs> Mel's. Oh, I can't pull in the plastic. Yeah. Like that, it's stiff. Yeah. So as you can see by size, it is a little bit smaller than the Cowie. I'm talking about shocks and suspension. It's A arms front and rear. Oh yeah. Where a lot of the other machines like ours, Cowies, they're trailing arm. Yeah. With a much larger shock. So look at yeah. the the length is a 14 inch coilover where this is an eight inch coilover. So what's the travel on it? Do you remember the specs? Uh, we can always we can always like pop them in the video. Yeah, we can add them in. Yeah. What's the? I think uh, it's 14 inches. What's the clearance? I think clearance is 14, isn't it? Oh, maybe. It looks about the same as the Cowie, but it hasn't sagged at all yet, right? No. Yeah, it's about the same. That's so stiff. And it's a single rate spring. So on coilovers, like on those machines, they have a coil slider and isolator it's a plastic piece and there's another set of rings that are below and there's two springs with the isolator separating them so you have a dual rate and you get on the stiffer spring as it compresses this being a small shock package you only have one spring one spring rate so your only adjustment when tuning it is just in the valving you don't have two springs to play with and the crossover ring to adjust as you get through the travel mm. to stiffen it up to avoid bottoming out it's going to be a linear spring rate the whole time on one spring okay so it's way more catered to a trail riding where a machine like this or uh the, the X3? x3s even like the lower base models come with the bigger shock package and the trailing arm so it has more tunability in the suspension to be able to go more aggressively on like whoops and jumps where this is really catered to just trail riding yeah it's gonna be sweet on the trails though i think i'm excited to see what it does i'm, I'm curious to see what it's like yeah. it's so much smaller than what i'm used to yeah so with this you could get you feel like it was like dead one. so with these shocks you could get a like a spring and then valving is the only thing yeah, you can so do. Yeah, so you can change this spring yeah. out for a stiffer or softer spring. So depending yeah. on how much I don't much think load, you want to go stiffer. <laughs> well, you might. No, it, that is important. <laughs> depending on the load in here. And oh, people, touche, touche. If yeah. it sags down, you can only adjust preload so much. And then you have to go to a stiffer spring because you only want a max of an inch and a half, two inches of preload. Touche, touche. I like one inch to one and a half. If it requires more to achieve the ride height, we go to a stiffer spring and yeah. then put the right preload. The k and offers like... 350 plus accessories so you can load this up with a lot of weight so you're yeah. gonna have 333 of them, <laughs> this is going to be a billboard for can-am shortly you'll yeah. see you might have to extend the trailer to fit both of them on there so that that's yeah maybe so that's really cool with the suspension and the differences but what else does it have we can't just has the bumpers suspension. you get front rear bumpers yeah. you get so this is factory you didn't yeah. have to add nope. this it comes this, with this is it. part of the package you didn't oh, that's buy sweet. It, no. but that you purchased separately yeah, the, the only thing separate was the the uh, roof, but the dealer kind of threw it in for a good deal. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't come with it. No. You have no. to buy that. You oh, it has a rear mirror. view mirror. Yeah, the mirror is oh, part cool. of the package. That came bumper. with it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, winch is all part of the package. I do like the bumper on this. I always thought that was kind of cool. It's just, it looks like it fits. Yeah, it kind of looks simple. like an extension of the cage. One of the main parts for the rock crawling specific one is plastic. the whole underside is that heavy duty plastic. Yeah. It's like the H. I like the robotic well with all the spatter. <laughs> yeah. Picking apart the walls already. And look at the little D ring. He's so the cute. little baby D ring He's in there. So cute. It's for your thumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We discovered already that you can push this thing back over with your thumb. So we're good. Yeah. You gotta get those sway bars awesome. off. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's cool. It's I like stiff. it. So there's not a single mod to it done yet. Nope. We've just been playing in the uh, compound here, doing a little rock crawling and driving around, getting some heat cycles through yeah. the motor, through the belt, through the diffs. He's got to do all this braking on us. So we just let it sit, go for a rip, let it sit. Yeah. That's yeah, really cool. What about the inside, Andrew? What's all, what's going on on the inside? The seats compared to our friends X3 are quite a bit different. They're, They're like really gel. Nice, like gel foam. They're pretty cushy actually. Yeah. They've got what really we, good low back support. Our like comparisons PRP, so bar set pretty high because <laughs> everything we have now is PRP. Cause we have both KRXs are PRP. Being a PRP Jeeps dealer, are all PRP. you buy a lot of PRP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally PRP seats sitting all over the shop. So yeah. these aren't bad for stock basic seats. Yeah, don't they're, need to throw any money at those yet. No. And it has the harness bar and the harness holes. So you could just throw some harnesses in. 
We've got real door handles with rear actual rear door. Why is real door so hard to say? Real, real, real. I have another one. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no storage behind the seat. No, no it really bothers. No, so the We're seats are, but yeah, the seats are, but like you're right against this. Like the seats yeah. are literally designed to fit against it. So, yeah. so if you go look at the Cowie, there's ten inches of room. Yeah. Behind the seat. Even with this seat, even all the with way this back. seat all the way back, there's yeah. still lots of room, so you can store extra clothes and yeah. stuff. And there's only two cup holders in this thing. And they're low. And they're low. Like, who's putting anything in this? Where's our beer? We need a, a demonstration <laughs> yeah, beer. Oh. You I mean, mean it's, it's a demonstration again, beverage. It's That's not good at all. No. That's I mean, good. that is a skinny can. Clearly, so. they didn't think people drink on the trail. Like, well, I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> <I feel> like water. <laughs> Yeah. You do get some nice the storage is sweet. Deep storage, like I yeah. got my goggles. It comes with a little bag. tool kit. Little tool kit, shock yeah. tool. So not too too bad. Yeah. You got storage there. above the driver's side. It's got the little storage. There, got yeah. Sunglasses. Twelve volt. Twelve volt. Cell phone fits in there pretty yeah. nice. There's yeah. a lot of pre-cutouts for a lot of the yeah. accessories. Which is pretty cool. Just, so and there's somewhere up. This is a ready for a switch pod. Yeah, you can put switch up here. This part, I believe, it's for like I don't bags know if this and part, stuff. This for one of these cuts out and bolts in, but you can get the whole roof air distribution system. I think it's called. Oh, is it like, like a, a vent? Yeah, it's a whole like vent like cool. cowling system. Neat. Which kind of cool, but we've seen how much dust we get on the trail. Yeah. I don't blow know. it right out. <laughs> air pumpers better. I mean, if I knew someone who made filters, I could probably come up <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> probably have something stocked that would work yeah yeah uh, it's it's endless the amount of options you can actually you get yeah light switches over here you get well, i guess not on. yeah winch over here this has the um the front diff lock and it's what was you, what are you guys smart calling it lock. smart lock smart lock yeah so you get four by four it's like instant uh, front i don't know diff if you can lock, hear it yeah your rock trail you can change you kind of hear the servos running yeah you got eco mode which slows it down a bit. Takes same as this, like the pretty much all the BRP products. Ecomo just takes all your throttle right out, so it yeah. consumes less fuel. Cool. And this is how you control the cluster, right? This guy right here. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's all like up, down, left, right. You can change your screen or change the settings through there. That's pretty cool. Power steering like is it. pretty nice, pretty light. Yeah. Um, I'm, gonna friends, to, I'm gonna have to give it a rip. Yeah, our friend's X3 is very stiff in comparison. I'm unpredictable he's having problems with yeah. that shock therapy like it's like rack. two yeah. fingers or three fingers really it if it was if you were driving it it would yeah. it moves easily yeah you're even just doing you know, we'll have to get some in cab uh, footage for you guys we're gonna have to do some comparisons here i think next mm -hmm. now after we're done discussing everything we like and don't like we could do like turning radius comparisons yeah. and flexing comparisons to compare yeah. the different machines because people who might be in the market for a strictly trail machine this would be in their lineup of what they're looking at, but so would the Cowie, yep. and so would the Polaris uh, XP or something, like not the race top yeah. Pro R, but the regular Polaris. Yeah. All three are trail contenders, so it, mm. it's nice to be able to give the viewers the comparisons. Well, we don't like this about it, but we do like that. Well, this yeah. one turns better than yeah. that one. There's more storage This space. is actually the machine we were originally going to buy when we were looking at side-by-sides. We had a deposit on one. And uh, a blue, a blue one, yeah, it was a blue 2022, I think. And uh, yeah, we just uh, we just decided to go for the KRX. It was the suspension and the size. That's Once what it was. Once I looked yeah. at the specs and realized that that was trailing arm with 14 inch travel shocks versus the little stuff being a suspension and race car guy, I was like, that'll be more fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this will definitely do what it's got to do. 100%. I'm excited. I think it's gonna be like a little billy goat, just climb up things. Yeah. We just don't have anything to climb up right now. Oh, we got stuff around. We can, we can <laughs> find some stuff. Up the jump. Yeah. Cool. It's got a decent amount of storage. And what was in here again? This uh, little. That's the air filter. That's how oh, you yeah. access the air filter. So you have one air filter on this side, so and then one dusty. on the other. Pop it and pull your cap off there. That's pretty sweet. It's got a dipstick for the oil, which is cool. Pretty, pretty like easy access though. Yeah. The one thing I know, I just moved it for him to park it here beside yeah. the Cowie. And the one thing that I did notice about it was the clutching compared to the Cowie. It's kind of like the X3, but not quite as bad where just trying to pull it around the parking lot here, it was very like so touchy on the throttle and so jerky to try and go slow. It doesn't want to go slow. I was in high range, so maybe low would be better and I need more seat time, but 
that's the first thing I noticed. I yelled over and like, this thing is like touchy and jerky. <laughs> it doesn't just smooth take off because yeah. it doesn't have the wet clutch inside. Oh. So the primary is just grabbing and unloading yeah. and it's like jerking. You can hear it clutch, not clutch a lot. It's weird. Quick, yeah. yeah, I don't know if I like that. But you could tune that too. Yeah. Change the weights, yep. change the springs. Yep. Sweet. And then, yeah, you were saying storage back here is pretty good. Yeah, you get, I, I mean, was I was sitting back in here earlier. <laughs> if it, it would fit two medium sized humans yeah comfortably more or less if this you wanted clean. if you exactly. wanted yeah. your, <laughs> just don't go too fast coolant. you can check your coolant level oh, that's pretty cool handy they've done some effort to make it serviceable which is kind of nice yeah, yeah yeah it seems uh everything's built around their link Q system there or oh yes the boxes and stuff that go in which it. is like so you could pull i'm pretty sure most of them are interchangeable so i could pull that off there and throw it like on the sea or whatever so especially yeah. Being and you can pull your sea dews with it because yeah. it has a hitch built yeah, right built, in. Built that's pretty cool. Thing. Just what like a a liner. That's not, the that must be them. just because it was brand new. That doesn't stay. Yeah, that doesn't stay. That's just part of the manufacturing. Like the bananas for your challenger. Because that's two inch, and that's just like for manufacturing or something. You can't leave. BRP that in. made in Mexico. Hmm. Oh, Mexican. Cool. Got a nice little license plate tucked in there. Oh yeah, this is a so sweet Energy ride, Power Sports in Oakville. Go talk to Brad and Neil. <laughs> Good time. They'll set you up. Here, if you're from Ontario. That's if where you got in Ontario, it. Ontario, yeah, go talk. To Don't them. look at the number though. <laughs> <laughs> Are these on? They're like glowing. I th wow. Oh, I guess they have my key. It's like a, a diffused light around the outside. That's neat. That is nice. Turn off. Yeah, yeah, that's neat. Yeah, they're nice little... It kind of remind me of a trailer. A little bit. It's very utility-like in the back, yeah. but it's kind of, again, best of both worlds, right? You kind of get at least a bit of a lip to put stuff here. Yeah. I kind of wish that they made the back come out to match the width of the tire so you mm. have more storage. Yeah. yeah. They made that really small looking at it. Yeah. When you look at the size of the storage in the cow, even There's with the subwoofer. Same yeah. with all, that, all the way through. Like, imagine if we didn't have the special edition with the stereo, we could fit almost a full 35-inch spare in there. Yeah. I think well, that's, that's the point. That's one of the packages yeah. you get for the KRX is the 35 spare sitting in there. Yeah. yeah. That's why your fronts or corners are tapered too to match yeah. it. This will never fit that. No. They do make a whole cage that bolts on top of here. Okay. Spare on top. Okay. Is and it on hydraulic assist things that flip up? Or right is now. it just solid? I think it's just straight solid, like two bars of a stick. Okay. okay. <laughs> but you can also two get those. Two bars of a stick and it's $1,200. <laughs> yeah, bend over. <laughs> but you can also get those like trunks for the back of here, yes. can't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're That's like fully, with yeah, fully watertight. Yeah. You get yeah. the full cargo cover. That's or pretty cool. Or uh, jerry can gas yeah. cans. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Whatever you want. I like that idea. House. Oh, sit in it and we'll show the headroom. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's yes. all this roll cage is factory. It's, you can stretch your arms straight out. You can chop a foot out of this thing. That's, <laughs> that's, that's impressive. You won't looking, hit your head. Because your head's like to the top of the seat. Yeah. You can literally it is a good size seat. Pull your helmet made... on. <laughs> well, that's kind of nice. Yeah. I don't know if that was intentional. Maybe. Because how tall are you? Like six foot, five eleven, something around there. Five eleven, three quarter. So <laughs> six foot. So okay. you're not you're not you're not a really short man, and you have a lot of room in there. Yeah. It is a, a shocking amount of space. Yeah, it's cool. Especially compared to the Jeep. The Jeep, I'm only like. Three like here, Mel, you sit in there, and let's see how. You're five five. Five. Five five six. I've measured in a while. You don't even. Oh, you're both. You got a longer, Did you shorter torso. Or, you just gotta slam it. I didn't want to hurt it. <laughs> so yeah, there is a ton of room. Like, yeah. Like a... Even yeah, I guess with like two full adults in here, it's not too bad. Andrew touched my knee when we went for a drive, and he's oh. like, "The dealer told me to watch out. You'll are touch you, your friend's knee." Are you flirting? Well, every time you oh, shift, yeah. it's like yeah. you touch someone's knee. You just gotta. Well, you got small legs. Screw your legs. Yeah, just, you're angry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to touch you. <laughs> yeah, it's tight in there. It's cool, but yeah, you can see the seats. Like, um, I'm not a massive person I'm a pretty average size woman I think <laughs> but my shoulders Good fit save. well in there all right so this is the flex text the flex test flex text? Flex <laughs> I'm learning how flex. to speak flex test um we're gonna do it with the sway bar attached first and then we're gonna take it off and see how much of a difference she makes this thing is a absolute monster you're gonna see what it can do it's gonna outperform anything you've ever seen a little billy goat 
and put it up against my uh, uh, Yeah. You gonna do this little rock? This guy here? Or that little rock? That one's even smaller. You gonna do this one? Don't roll it. It's its first day. <laughs> Let's see the rock crawl. Your back right. tire's off the ground. Your front tire's off the ground. All right, so we got that tire lifted. Well, you can go up more. Yet, you can go up more. So what, what you're showing us is it doesn't flex at all. This shock just moved a quarter of an inch. That's about it. <laughs> We're off the ground on this tire. Want to try the other rock? Oh, oh, oh she's oh. a little chippy. <laughs> I'm put in rock mode. We're okay. <laughs> Let's see. It's about ten inches. Yeah. All right, back her up. Try this rock. Up on me. Come on, oh. baby. Oh. Get up there. You had her. Go back up. Go, go, go. Yeah. There you go. You're good. Yeah, it doesn't flex like maybe a quarter no. inch of suspension. You might move a quarter inch. <laughs> You're good. We try to roll it. That's good. Yeah. It's like a teeter talk. Yeah. It's pretty comfy in here. All right, let's take the sway bars off and uh, see what happens. All right, we got the, uh, the sway bar off there. We'll test it again. Back to the little rock. All right, no, little rock first. Little rock first. Oh, it flexed. Wow, the tire stayed on the ground. Go all the way up, all the way, a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. Walk right over it. Come on, rock crop, brah. Oh, the tire came off. You only got about an inch more flex. Rather <laughs> your rock. That's, I'd say, significantly better. You don't feel as much now at all. Yeah. All what right. An upgrade. To the medium. You're already putting modifications on it. You haven't even driven it. Oh, the tire stayed on the ground. Look at that. Now it's rock crawling. Oh, it's so much you just got to take the sway bar on. links off. That's nice. We got rock mode on a fall by fall. Yeah, no tipping this time. Yeah, we're not going up. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you better try the big one now. Oh, 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 oh. You're going to need your dip lock. Play three wheel. Come right up. Just rock crawling on our landscaping. That's our garden. <laughs> Rock garden. There's no plants in it. Get up there. Oh, oh. You got it. Let's go. There you go. All right, tire came off on that one, but it's not that bad. That's as much as it was off on the small rocks before, so. Yeah. You can still go up higher. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's about the peak of it. So you're you're three wheel in there, but it's not bad. Now you can fix the gravel after. Okay. Get a rake out. It's <laughs> well, got like a little bit of flex now, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Now we should grab the cowie and compare. Keys are in it. having a blast in behind us. No tire spin, no tire lift. She good. I think all the tires are still on the ground. They are. Totally different. Yeah, but completely different suspension. 
suspension in general, so. A much bigger tire. Yeah. What's going on guys? I got my hood on because the flies are just brutal out here. So we're in our local gravel pit. If you've watched our other uh, videos we put on YouTube, we've been here a couple times and Andrew just got his first rip in on his brand new Can-Am Maverick. What is this? Maverick Sport XRC. And um, just hit 50K. He's got 50 kilometers on it and he's absolutely loving it. So we've all taken it for a rip. There's yeah. Mel, she just got out of it. And our first impressions are the uh, shock tune for the chatter, like this rough little ruts and chops and rocks, is very stiff, but on a big G out, like a big jump or a big hit, it's very plush for that. Um, the throttle is super touchy, super responsive, and the clutching seems really on point for the size of the tires. It puts the power to the ground. So now we're just going to compare back to back the Cowie to the Maverick Sport and give a like right away get out of one get in the other to really get a feel of the two to really help Andrew see the differences and see what he thinks about them back to back because it's one thing to uh, drive one and then a half an hour later or a week later or two weeks later hop in another one and compare it's one to go back to back and and see what you think yeah yeah I think it's pretty cool it's, it's you feel like so comparing the cowie to this i feel like in this you are more on top of the vehicle and it's much shorter at the front so you get like you see a lot more um yeah it just feels like you're I don't know, in like a ufo almost like you're in the center it's, it's weird whereas that feels more like a car like you're set back into it where the can-am is even like the x3 is even more yeah. than the cowie yeah yeah you're like right car back in it I like the visibility too. You feel much more aware of yeah, how big yeah. you are and it fits between all the little yeah. trails and trees and everything. And yeah, throttle response is just stupid. It's really touchy. <laughs> it's really touchy, yeah. It's they're, like they're you completely touch the pedal different. and it grabs and it goes. Like they consider both the KRX and this sport in the same class of side by side, like a trail rig, yeah. not a turboed race rig. And they are completely different machines. They are not remotely the same in yeah. any way, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, we could drag race. We could drag race. Yeah, we're, we got enough on the boat I mean, now. I got 35s and it's a little heavier. I'm curious to see how so fast we'll we see. go now. Okay, so they're gonna do a drag race here. I'm gonna do the arm drop. And they're both in four wheel drive. Okay, so the Can-Am is factory and the Cowie is factory on 35s. The Cowie lost by a little bit, but 35 inch tires now. 35s are a big difference, so maybe it's the tires. No tune on that. So you guys are really close, but you're on 35s and he's on factory tires yeah. and he was very slowly pulling away. I think yeah. if you had the tune, you guys would be neck and neck. Yeah. So yeah, you need it. I think you would need a stock KRX to really compare. Yeah. But like for 35s, it wasn't too far. You were right there. Yeah. You were right there. Yours bogged a bit taking off where yeah. his didn't, and I think that's the tires. Yeah. Yeah. We we're just saying we think being the 35s with no tune, you were just barely ahead of her pulling away slowly. I think it's that bit of grunt out of the hole with yep. the smaller tires. Other than that, they're pretty much the same speed. Yeah. It was close. I think the weight of the tires make a huge difference. Huge. If we put stock tires back on this, you'd probably be neck and neck. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, guys. So the sun's going down here. We're running out of daylight. So we're going to go uh, out that way, and we're going to run all the trails in the bush, and then we're going to head back to the D3 compound. 
He's got his breaking down. We've got a bunch of heat cycles through it. We got about 100 kilometers on it now. Look at the ruts you made. So we're gonna go see how it does in the bush and in the muck. And that drag race was a good time. We really think that they're pretty comparable in speed now. Just this has bigger tires, which are heavier. So yeah, we're gonna go that way into the bush. Go check out the mud. But this, check out this GGB exhaust. It's getting nice color to it from the heat. The stainless is looking good. Nice. You ready to go in the bush? Ready. driving. I don't know if you can really see through the trees. Looks good. Looks good. Just got a bunch of dust in the eyes. Yeah! How did you do? You did good. You could go faster. Send her again. <laughs> Go full throttle. That was way smoother than I expected. Yeah. It was pretty smooth. The faster you go, the smoother it gets. Yeah. Do it again. I didn't get to see Do it. Do it again. I was busy driving. <laughs> Do it again. Look at that little golf cart go. no like shock tuning or anything out of the box it's pretty decent yeah the small chatter is really rough but the big yeah. hits are good yeah that's not bad that's like 
Try go this way. The Jeep was like. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're running out of battery here. Oh, you need another one? Other way? Well, no, we have none left. They're all dead. Everything's dead. I'm getting mud yeah. on it. Oh, no, he's getting mud on it. Oh, no. He got dirt. So, yeah, that's uh, Andrew's new toy. You'll see him in a lot of videos with us now, not just the Jeep. He's going to be the main character in all yeah, the videos all now. All of them. <laughs> So yeah, you can follow his uh, his experience with it, and uh, maybe we'll do a one-year review on it, see what he's done to it. The good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah. All the ponies. Yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment hashtag D3 for our hashtag D3 fab for our rugged radio. I cannot speak. Rugged radio You're giveaway. I am. Yes. Do all those things. See you later.